Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. It is Tuesday, and that means we have the real estate entrepreneur, Omar Alfaro. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you, Michael? What's up, everybody? Hey, one thing I don't think I've ever asked you, so let's knock it out here. Let's assume I'm watching one rental at a time channel. I'm a new investor. Yep. Let's just pretend I picked the high desert as my buy box. Now, I think I'm ready to write an offer, or I want to work with a re I want to work with a real estate agent that's friendly to investors. How would a brand new investor doesn't own anything? How would you want them to reach out to you to get your attention so that you would actually give them the time of day? Because you and I both know there's lots of people that go to events that just waste your time and do nothing. How do you filter investors to make and then work with the new ones? Because I know you do, but I also know you don't work with all of everybody who calls you. How do you do that? Uh, that's a great question. You, you have to stand out. Um... You have to stand out on what you want to accomplish, what kind of value you want to bring to someone that, um, in, in, in essence, doesn't need um, any more people to like help the person, mm -hmm. but not to sound mean or anything, mm -hmm. because it's all about our time, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're out there and you're new and you want to make an impact and you want to be, you know, you want to stand out, uh, do something a little bit different. Like if you're going to come to me or if you say, hey, listen, what do you have for, for me that I'm able to work with you for free to mm -hmm. learn? Mm -hmm. And if somebody came to me that way, which a couple of people have, and now they're here as professionals and I've helped mm -hmm. them and they've made more money now um, because they thought outside the box. Yeah. So if you're that new investor, um, do this, bring a deal, come to me, meet me. Say, hey, listen, what do you want? What can I go look for? Mm -hmm. And what if they get a deal under contract or they put me in touch with a seller so I can close them mm -hmm. and then they make some money, but I'll teach them because I knew that they were hungry enough to go do this for themselves to learn. That's their education that they're paying for. Right. Because you're not getting this education anywhere. Right. Like you can't go to a university. You can't go to college. You can't go anywhere oh. to get this kind of education, period. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, sometimes that's all it takes, right? You, you, you Folks in today's world, especially with folks like Omar who are doing deals and, and, and already have a system and process and network, you want to get in front of people like this because they are willing to impart wisdom. Mm -hmm. But you also have to appreciate that for every 100 people that reach out, like one or two will actually do the work. 100%. Just and, like when you and I talk. Absolutely. It's just, it's, it, it's so you need to realize that even I have built up a filter, right? I get dozens of people a day reaching out. Oh, I just want to take you to coffee or this or that it just doesn't happen anymore. I, I tell people what to do. 90% never do a thing. No. I don't know what no. it is, right? So the other thing I want to talk about, if you're like a full-time employee, you work in SoCal, you know, you're part of Hollywood or whatever it is down there and you're looking to buy rentals like right out of the MLS, what I would tell you, right? So you're going to call Omar. Hey, Omar, I'm a new investor. I work full time. I want to buy some rentals in, in the high desert. And if you say the following, you're not getting a call back, my guess. Just bring me a deal. I'll buy anything you have. How do you, I mean, there's nothing there. What I tell everybody to do is repeat to agnosium what your buy box is. Hey, Omar, I buy in this zip code, this housing configuration, this price point, this, you know, whatever. The more stuff you could tell Omar that he can go, wow, you've done the work. I know what you're looking for. I can build a search criteria. I can add you to the list. Next time I see one, I'll call you, right? You've got to be specific. It, it always, it, the biggest thing that annoyed me, like in 2014 or 15, I was still working. People realized what Olivia and I had done by now. They're like, hey, just bring me a deal. I'll, I'll buy it. Just if you say it's a deal, I'll buy it. <laughs> I'm like, dude, if it's a deal, I'm buying it. What, what are you? Right. right what, are you, what, are you, what are you thinking? Right. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to be calling a real estate agent, you follow one rental at a time, tell them your buy box. I would actually tell people to get a business card and put the buy box on the card. My name is Michael Zuber. I buy in 93703, three or four bedroom, two bath between 1,200 and 1,700 square feet. Boom. You can do something with that, right? Yeah, because you have direction now. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> you know what to look for. 
Exactly. And oh, by the way, you could even be a little like, okay, you wanted three or fours, but I found this two that I think you could add a third, right? At least you have a framework to know what you're looking for. 100%. This is spot on, spot on, Michael, because, you know, th this is a lot of, th this is literally, um, this is elementary school, what we're talking about. Like, be specific. Like, this is your ABCs of, investing in real estate like where do you want to invest at yeah. and it's i mean you talk about it in the course you know your daily di discipline and your buy box it's like you have to know what that is like mm -hmm. i know what mine is as yeah. long as it is it makes sense it's in my area location wise if it's another door uh it's a three two and if it's a two two i'll make an exception because of location or if it's acreage i mean there's a lot of things that i have that i add mm -hmm. um and as long as it can potentially it could it could it could burr out right. meaning that i could end up having a house for free or mm -hmm. you know maybe 10 or 20 or thirty thousand dollars in true right. cash in right. this property right. so that's literally how i base everything off of now and um it's been working awesome well do me a favor how do you want people to reach out if they want to buy something or join your team guys uh, you guys got to reach out to me on ig at omar underscore alfaro or my website omaralfaro.com thanks buddy appreciate it Thank you.